Hi, this is Dr. Ruben Valdez, CMO of Novus Health. Our centers are successful nationally at helping people reverse chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes. My passion has been in the field of functional medicine and integrative health, and I have dedicated all of my career to helping people dealing with chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes successfully reverse their conditions. In this video, I want to go over three myths that are holding every single person dealing with type 2 diabetes back from their ability to reverse their condition. The first myth is the idea that type 2 diabetes is genetic. This myth has been thoroughly debunked. There is not a gene that has been shown to be passed on transgenerationally or from generation to generation that gives you diabetes. If you think about it, there's families where mom, dad could be diabetic and none of the kids are diabetics. Families where mom and dad are neither diabetic and some of the kids are diabetic. We know that for the most part, this could be a lifestyle triggered disease. Number two, a lot of people believe that the pancreas is the sole organ in, in blood sugar regulation. A lot of people say, hey, I have type 2 diabetes because my pancreas is broken. However, that's actually type 1 diabetes. And a lot of people don't know that there's eight organs involved in blood sugar regulation in type 2 diabetes. And many times the main one is actually the liver in type two. And lastly, the worst myth of all, and some people even hear this from their doctors and their providers, is the idea that type two diabetes is an unreversible condition. This myth is absolutely and inequivocally false. We see type two diabetes reverse in our centers every single day. The approach, however, has to be very unique to the reasons why the person developed type two diabetes in the first place. So from this part on, I want you to begin to feel excited and hopeful about what is really possible for you regarding your type 2 diabetes. If you're dealing and have been dealing with type 2 diabetes for some time, you're probably frustrated. For a lot of people dealing with this condition, they feel like every day brings on a little bit of bad news, a little bit of, of stress. When they wake up in the morning so frequently, they check their blood sugar. And if their blood sugar is high in the morning, that already sets off a bad entry to that day. In addition to that, so many times they go to their doctor's office, hopeful they've been trying to do their best. They're taking their medications. They're trying to eat better. They're trying to change their lifestyle. And so often, so frequently, they see their blood sugar and their A1C going up and up and up many times leading them to the same old cycle, to the same old routine of having to take more medications, of having to go on stronger medications, eventually insulin, and hearing the same old rhyme and song, which is diet, exercise, and lose weight. Sadly, so many people feel responsible for their condition worsening or are made to feel responsible when in reality, they're not. The approach that they're being given is not really addressing the root causes. These patients have not been tested properly to identify what used to work in their body, what broke, and what is not allowing them to get better. High blood sugar is just the symptom, is the tip of the iceberg. And if you don't have someone on your team addressing, supporting you, and coaching you through the reasons why your blood sugar is not improving, it's doomed for failure. And the research has been staggering. We now know that 92% of people dealing with type 2 diabetes in America will have at least one diabetic complication in their lifetime, even if they're considered a controlled diabetic. So here's a quick tip, something simple. Um, if you're somebody that checks your blood sugar at night and you check it, it looks pretty decent, 100, 105, 110, and you wake up in the morning and all of a sudden your blood sugar skyrocket at 140, 150, that's called Don Phenomenon. Now, this is not medical advice. Please consult this with your doctor first. But we have found that if you have a high protein, um, good healthy fat content, snack, small snack, like a small tablespoon of almond butter, oh, after two or three days, that dawn phenomenon will actually begin to shut down and you will start seeing better fasting numbers. That's a simple hack. 
uh, because that mechanism is actually hormonal. And like that, there's many other mechanisms that need to be addressed and looked at to make sure that we see dramatic improvements over time. If you're prepared to begin to reverse your diabetes right now, go to the website and claim your free consultation.